Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. So today I wanted to share with you these completed journals. I've just finished them and they are paperback journals. They will be listed in my Etsy shop. But I thought I'll come on here and just show you what I've done and hopefully inspire you to make something beautiful today. All right, so let's begin. Which one should we start with? Let's go with this one. So they are mostly similar inside. Okay, sorry about this glare over here. Today the weather is not very good, so I don't have much natural light. Uh, just before I begin, I wanted to let you know that when I ship them, I will be shipping them in a box like this. And uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of space here in the box. So I'm going to fill this up with all extra little goodies. I'll fill it up either to the top or until I reach 500 grams. So there will be extra little goodies for you in there that you can use in your journal making. Okay, let's begin. So this journal is embellished with this beautiful journal cover embellishment. I have a video where I actually created all of these embellishments. I will link that video for you below. So it, it was very easy decorating the journal because I already had these pre-made. So as I said, this is a paperback journal, but it's been covered. The paperback has been covered with scrapbook paper. And then at the back, I've got this tea dyed watercolor paper it's all been sewn on and the closure the seam binding closure is also sewn on so that's not going to go anywhere most of the journals are very similar inside so i'll do a full flip through of just the one and then the other ones i'm just going to fast forward okay so over here um, straight off we have let's start with this so this is a little flip down envelope that can open up and then the tag with some little postage stamps over here that lives in there so that's also like a pocket belly band kind of thing and then this is a postcard so you can use that i've used these on covers as well before it's quite a sturdy thick postcard so you can use it on a journal cover that you're making or you can send the postcard to someone or you know whatever you want to do with it really first page here is a vellum page and then most of these things that I've got clipped in can be removed and moved around if you want to move it around. So I have somewhat embellished this journal, but I didn't do too much because I wanted to leave space for writing. And there's quite a lot of sewing, as you will see as we go through. I love this effect of, you can see a straight stitch here, and then a wiggly one here, and then a zigzag here. I really love that look and that effect. Okay, so I've got some stencil in there. These papers were dyed with Easter egg tea, uh, tea dye. Easter egg dye. Here we've got a little pocket. Some lots of different types of papers, scrapbook papers. Now this here uh, is this looks like a belly band, but it's actually a pocket. So that can come out and then there's a little pocket here so a little journaling spot in there and then we have a notepad and I think that looks beautiful with this trim up here and the sewing again I just love it and then middle of the signature so there's a quote here is this postcard that's been tea dyed and uh, that's watercolor paper now this one here they're all different in all of the journals so this one here opens up for extra journaling space and that lives in there so i used the blue one because of the blue sort of a theme i guess it's a little paper ruffle there a tag all different types of paper to spark creativity this is some stenciling again some wiggly sewing i love that effect on a page then this here is an envelope that's been embossed and that looks really i really love that look little envelope doily parchment paper or baking paper music paper then this here is a flip down envelope i have a video on this as well i will link it 
in the description box that very sturdy vellum paper and then here is two pockets so there's one here for this journaling spot get in there and then there's another one here enjoy the journey that one says and a little postage stamp little cluster and then the back of the paper bag and a journaling spot in there so that completes this first journal. I'm going to speed through the rest. They are somewhat different. Or most of the things that go inside and are clipped in are slightly different. So uh, the, these postcards are all different that are inside the pockets and the tags and things like that are different and the little, you know, stickers and stuff like that is different. But all of these, the, the main components of the journal are the same and then here is that pocket that looks like a belly band and this is just like a little snippet that I sewn all around on top of a book page and made it into a little pocket and then over here this is the similar same as the previous journal and this one also they all open up like this And this one has this little and flip down envelope that says enjoy the ride and it just opens up for some little secret journaling and then over here again journaling spot and a little this is bliss little journaling spot so double pocket here and then this one has this journaling card so that completes this lovely roses journal let's go to this one next so this one has a little image of a bird maybe a hummingbird i'm not sure what type of bird it is and again that's the back and some seam binding over here this one's got this type of a postcard and then this little tag and then this one opens up again So this paper here, I actually also have a video on if you wanted to check it out. I was using party streamers to create that effect. So I'm going to link that as well. You can see it leaves a beautiful effect on paper. Reasons to smile. Next, have a, let's have a look at this lovely vintage girl. So I was trying to have, you know, some sort of matching colors or some sort of cohesion inside the journal. And this one has this beautiful image of a butterfly on a flower. And again, that opens up. Little flip down envelope, vellum paper, this little cluster here with some pockets. And then this little happy little life. And the lucky last. This one's just got an image of some flowers at the front. The tag with some postage stamps. Postcard over here. And a flip down envelope. This one has this beautiful floral image. And this is not actually a printout, it's from Hallmark. As you may know, I don't uh, work with uh, digitals and such. And that completes today's flip through. I hope that you enjoyed looking at these beauties. I hope you feel inspired. If you would like to purchase one, there's a link to my Etsy down below in the description box. Thank you so much for being here with me today, for watching, for commenting, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!